<laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wired In with Coach Jared Galarza here at the Wayne Gretzky Center. Today we will be discussing the elements of a proper crossover. Low athletic stance, your solid base, your head up, chest up, knees slightly bent, bum out, back straight. You're going to try to make a check mark motion with the ball. Alright? So here, to here. Okay. <clears throat> so some people will say it's a V but it's a little too long. A V is right here, right? So that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to stop the ball around our hip and knee, knee area. We're gonna drive that ball through and get it uh, passed to our other hand, okay? We're trying to drive that ball right in the middle of our bodies here. Okay? So, now on the move, when we're hitting crossovers, we're here, I'm going one way. Okay, so one more time. I'm going one way on the direction, this way, cross. So as you notice, when I'm showing I'm going one way, I'm hitting that crossover with my foot being planted on the ground, okay? So before I hit the cross, I'm placing this foot down, cross, long leg through with my left leg, okay? So planting with my right, long leg through with my left. So I'm on the move, plant with the right, long leg through with the left. After I go um, dribble, 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 plant, long leg through, I'm also going long push with my left hand, okay? Of course, this is situational. If you have a defender right near you, you're not gonna do a push dribble right in front of him, okay? Or her. But, um, now if you're on the move though, if you're going in nice open space, uh, trying to get to the basket from the backcourt, now you're going nice and long, 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 long. 